Amid a severe food crisis, Xi Jinping called for strict legislation to stop food waste. The National Food and Strategic Reserves Administration also announced an annual decrease of 9.388 million tons in wheat acquisition. However, on August 19th, the National Bureau of Statistics of China published statistics claiming that this year's rice production increased by 1.028 million tons in comparison to last year. This aroused public criticism. On August 19th, the National Bureau of Statistics of China released the early rice production data for 2020, claiming that the total production was 27.29 million tons this year, with an increase of 1.028 million tons. This represented a growth of 3.9%, reversing the situation of seven consecutive years of decline. Nevertheless, an agricultural researcher in Jiangxi, who did not wish to reveal his name, questioned the validity of the data. He asked how the production of crops increased when China has been suffering from the plague, heavy floods, and locust outbreaks continuously this year. No one heard of any increase in crop production in China. Since it's official information, it does not require sources, so who knows? Crops production increases every year, but how? The land area is decreasing. Plus, many disasters happened this year. Who would really understand or believe in the increasing production? They control the statistics. They can say whatever they want. This agricultural researcher expressed that they never believe in the official statistics and only believe in what they see. For instance, the local flour factory used to have hundreds of trucks delivering wheat, but not anymore. The government never acknowledges the real problems, so it must cover up the problems with something. They use fake propaganda to say they had a great harvest this year, when the truth is that the harvest was bad. This is a habit, and as government employees, there are things that can't be evaded. For example, what are we going to do next? We have to be realistic about this. Tell the lower administrations what to do. We are running out of food, so we have to preserve food. On the same day when the National Bureau of Statistics announced an increase in rice, the CCP authorities released information about food shortage. In an online video conference held on August 19th, Hu Chunhua, the vice premier of China, called for a rapid organization of farmers to strengthen the recovery of agricultural production after disasters. He called to strengthen the prevention and control of pests and diseases, such as moths, and to closely monitor meteorological disasters, such as typhoons, floods, and droughts. On August 11th, Xi Jinping called for a firm stop on food waste. On August 12th, the National Food and Strategic Reserves Administration announced an annual decrease of 9.388 million tons in wheat acquisition. This caused people to focus on the food crisis faced by China. On August 17th, the Rural Development Institute Chinese Academy of Social Sciences published an estimated report confirming the prospect of food shortage in China. In the next five years, China may have a food deficit of 130 million tons, of which the three staple foods such as rice, corn, and wheat account for about 25 million tons. This year, the production of wheat greatly decreased due to heavy snow, hailstorms, and droughts in production areas. Since June, Heavy torrential rain has continued in areas south of the Yangtze River. Sichuan, Chongqing, Anhui, Jiangxi, and other provinces and cities severely affected by the disasters are all grain-producing regions in China. What's worse is that locust disasters broke out in Yunnan, Hubei, Guangxi, Guilin, and northeast Jilin. The exports of crops from Vietnam and Thailand decreased, and with a rise in price, the food supply situation in China is not optimistic. Mr. Li from Hunan indicated that in a normal year, China's domestic food deficit is 30%, and it is estimated that the domestic food production will be reduced by at least 50% this year. People should be prepared for food shortage. A few friends were talking the other day and they came up with a mutual view. That is, presently the crops production in the grain-producing regions in China is reduced by 50% to various disasters. If that is so, China's food deficit will be 60 to 70 percent. Then famine will definitely come. He further revealed that all local governments are worried by now and they are motivating everyone to cultivate crops. They promised a few hundred yuan for every acre of land cultivated. The situation is different in each region. They abandon other land projects because they have to restore cultivation, they have to maintain the crops production to prevent famine. This is very evil. We are already at this point now, and you still want to continue to deceive the people. Mr. Lee indicated that the government deceives everything, hurting the people. When people are out of food, all measures of maintaining stability of the government will become ineffective. However, even as the food crisis threatens China, 
the CCP is still giving away large amounts of food. A Twitter account, Dynasty Ends Chaos, posted a video where the CCP assisted Africa with 30,000 tons of rice, which was packed onto a ship on August 18th. In addition to assist Africa, China News reported that on August 13th, the government of Inner Mongolia donated 163 tons of rice to Russia. Chinese independent scholar Ge Bi Dong pointed out that this is exactly like the time of Mao Zedong. In the previous century, during the Great Leap Forward, the CCP's political movements created a great famine that caused the death of tens of millions of peasants. When these peasants were dying from hunger, the CCP went so far as to snatch food from the starving people and give it to third world countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America in order to promote its international communism. He reminded the Chinese people that the CCP is careless about the lives of the people, so they need to store some food in preparation for the crisis.